if you and I get a cold and you recover in two days and I take a week to recover, one of the reasons for that would be that we have different versions of these immune system genes. You might be really good at presenting samples of that virus to your T cells, whereas I might be a bit worse at that. So we've got things like antibodies, which um, people are probably familiar with from having vaccines, but they're not just the only thing, are they? No. Of course, the immune system is much more complicated than that. One of the ways in which it works, uh, which is going to tell us something quite profound about the immune system, which I do think is important for us to know, involves a cell called a T cell. T cells look at other cells and see if they've started to produce something which shouldn't really be there. We all have different hair colour, eye colour, skin colour. But the thing that varies the most between all people are these immune system genes, which are very directly showing samples of what is being made inside our cells to the immune system. Now, the reason that this is incredibly important to understand is that it means that if you and I get a cold and you recover in two days and I take a week to recover, one of the reasons for that would be that we have different versions of these immune system genes. You might be really good at presenting samples of that virus to your T cells, whereas I might be a bit worse at that. So a really important message from that is that when we're bombarded with all this stuff of like you should support your immune system by doing this, doing that, there's a risk that we start to blame ourselves. If you got better in two days and I got better in a week, I might think, oh, that's really I've just bad. Done, I've done better in some way. I've yeah. eaten more green, green vegetables. Or yeah, look, look, more yeah, look at a lock. He's, he's, he's going weight training every, every day. Yeah. And I'm just, you know, on the couch. <laughs> but the actual truth is that there is something fundamentally different in each of our nature that comes from our basic inheritance that makes us, all of us, fare differently with every kind of illness. It's not inevitable that if you're finding it hard to get through some illness compared to someone else, it doesn't mean for sure that you are more stressed, need more vitamin or something like that. So I think, I think that is an important message that comes from the detailed science of how the immune system really works and why we are all different.